If I wanted to look at the changes for like Midnight Rambler in uh, F, right? So I could play uh, E flat, uh, then D, and then F, and then down to an A. Uh, so those are, that's pretty simple. That's fourth fret. So let's try to use some finger discipline too. Fourth fret of the B string, right? Third fret of the B string, first fret of the B string, and second fret of the G string. You heard about the Midnight Rambler? Right, but I can add two fingers in there if I want to as well. So now I'm using my first finger on the fourth fret of the B string, second finger on the fifth fret of the G string. Now I've got the B flat, so I'm going to use one finger or two fingers on the third fret of the B string and the G string. And then a uh, first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the G string. I've got this now. And then I could add more, I could add a, a, another uh, note if I want to. So I'm going to make kind of like an A minor shape, but up on the fourth fret. So it's A minor here, like so, but I'm leaving my first finger free. So I've got this. C, it's, still a, 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 it's still a C minor right now. B, I'm using one finger to go all the way across and then a three note F. Right? And I could even go farther. So now I'm going to use the third fret as a bar with my first finger. some fun with that. You can see how you can build from the melody, right, build other notes in there. And it sounds it sounds good, uh, no matter how you play it, as long as you have that rhythm. Da, 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 da. So have some fun with that.